So this morning I woke up and went hunting. I spooked three deer in a neighbor's field and I seen nothing all day. But I did see a squirrel, so I guess that counts for I seen something. But I'm pretty for sure I'm just uh, in a, a spot where it was just too windy and I was cold. So about nine o'clock I came back to the house. But I do need to finish uh, putting the new screws in the side of this camper. So I'm going to attempt that before I go back inside. Uh, to be uh, pretty honest, I don't even want to be out here right now. It's cold. And these screws are whipping my butt. So let's see how far we can get before I decide to climb on top of this thing. And we had a leak on this back vent. I think I figured it out. Right here looks to be like a rip in the metal. So I need to patch that. And then probably put that new screws around the whole thing. We'll see how that works. It has all these like little cracks in uh, the original sealant, whatever you want to call this stuff. So we're definitely going to need to put something over top of it. I don't know if this is going to hold me, but we're going to try to get that nasty off here. The front doesn't look too bad. I will probably put some silicone around it too, just to make sure. But that whole front lip, you can see like the cracks all the way through. So we're definitely going to have to put something up here. Well, at least that's gone now. I have taken down every screw that I can get off and there is still a bunch that will not come off. So I'm going to have to rethink on that and get that a little bit better. Well, the accent wall is coming along pretty good. She has put some wood filler in where I put the staples at. That way it blends in really nice when she decides to paint it. The top cabinet is gray. And then, uh, of course, the wall is going to go white, but... She has got to do that prep work first, and then we can start the floor up here. Since I can't do any more on the screws on the outside without coming up with a different solution, I might start on the inside by replacing that patch in the floor. But first, I'm going to go up there with that silicone that's self-leveling, like I put on everything else that wasn't supposed to be there, and put over top of a couple of spots that look like they might be letting water in the roof until we can get that um, whatever it is. If you all have ideas, put it in the comments of what I'm supposed to put actually on the roof to make it watertight. 